Not everyone has good intentions for you. Some people delight in causing others harm. They feel good about themselves when people around them suffer and are in pain. This is a sad reality, but it's true. And the earlier you come to terms with that, the better it will be for you. Coming to terms with this fact will help you spot some signs these people exhibit that will let you know their true colors. In this video, we'll discuss five unmistakable signs you're dealing with an evil person. Before we begin, here is a brief news that might interest you. Another edition of the online Christian book reading competition is here again. This year's competition comes with mouth-watering prizes. You won't want to miss them. Join the seventh edition of Solomon Ios online book reading competition and go home with massive cash prizes. First position leaves with the sum of $2,000. Second position goes home with $1,500. Third position takes away $1,000. And four more people go home with $200 each. The registration begins on the first and ends on the 30th of August, 2024. The registration fee is only $3.99 or 5,000 Naira. To register, pay your registration fee to the bank account or through any of the following payment services and send proof of payment to any of the numbers on your screen. Register now and stand the chance to become one of the seven winners. Do you have more questions? Reach out to our team. We'll be thrilled to have you participate. Hope to see you at the competition. Let's continue from where we stopped. Number one, they are full of lies. These people will not come off as outright evil at first. They will be charming and charismatic. You'll perceive them as angels sent to you from heaven. They'll tell you what you want to hear, and that will get you to the point where you trust them with your entire life. You'll trust them so much that you won't second guess anything they say because you believe they would never lie. They might have you so wrapped around that when you outrightly catch them lying, you might make excuses for them. When you get to this point, manipulation has set in, where you cannot see them for who they indeed are, where you believe they are perfect and they make no mistakes. Yet the more you get to know them, the more their lies get exposed. You'll find out that they wrap everything about them in lies. It's so bad that everything they ever do for you was a calculated move to earn your trust and get you wrapped more tightly around their finger. In most cases, these lies are not just lies about their identity. They move into lies to wreck you. God's way of helping you is to make you see this sign glaringly and save you before you get deep into trouble. Remember the story of Ahab and Jehoshaphat in the Bible? They were friends, and while Jehoshaphat was sincere, Ahab had no hunch of sincerity. One time, he invited Jehoshaphat to go to war with him. He asked Jehoshaphat to dress in his royal robe while he disguised himself like an ordinary man. The enemies wanted to get the king first, and when they saw Jehoshaphat, they chased him, thinking he was the king. Did you think Ahab didn't know they would want to get the king down first? That's often the strategy during wars. They capture the king first to weaken the army. He wanted to use Jehoshaphat as the cover to avoid danger. Thank God for divine intervention. Jehoshaphat would have lost his life to the lies of an evil friend. Number two, they are controlling. Do you know that one person who always wants to be in charge is always right and must have the final word? It's either their way or no way at all. Yes. That person coming to your mind right now might be the one you have to give some space. Now, don't get it wrong. There are temperament types, and people are often more controlling based on their temperament. Still, when these people don't fall into the evil category, they know when to listen and pay attention to others. But a person who is with you, just because they can push you around and make you do the dirty work for them, and you find yourself doing negative things that you wouldn't have done without their influence. You feel like a puppet at their beck and call who has no voice or can't even think for yourself. They make all the decisions and shove them down your throat, whether it is convenient for you or not. And in most cases, if not all cases, it's never for your benefit. You need no more evidence to know you are dealing with an evil person who does not want the best for you but is simply interested in using you. You'll notice that when you refuse their control and say no to whatever they ask, they turn bitter, angry, and sometimes even hurt you deliberately. 
to make you pay for saying no to them. They'll try to rid you of all your self-esteem through constant putting down. So you eventually find yourself thinking that you cannot function well without them. Beloved, when you see this sign, it's time to leave that entanglement and allow yourself to have the liberty to think and make decisions independently. Number three, they lack empathy. An evil person sees only themselves and what is best for them. Their entire life's mantra is self. Everyone they are with is because of what they can get from them. They have no love to give anyone because all their love is for themselves. They'll make you believe they love you so you can love them and would even profess to love you. But when the time comes to live out that love, you will see their actual color. They are cruel and don't mind whoever gets hurt as long as they get what they want. Having them close is like living with a wild animal. No matter how much you care for it and feed it, it cannot truly love you. And the day you don't have enough to feed it, it'll have you for its afternoon snack. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 13 verse 4, Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. Once you cannot see the characteristics of love in them, you don't have to wait until they turn and hurt you. And these clues are not hidden. You'll see how they react when you are going through tough times. Do they try to help or make you feel like you are making a fuss over nothing? Do they suddenly disappear or start sharing their problems to let you know that you are not going through anything as worse as they are? Whichever way they do it, a person who lacks empathy is not the best for you. 4. They don't take responsibility for their actions. This is another glaring sign that you are dealing with an evil person. Evil people are never responsible for their actions and would blame others for it. They never own up to their mistakes, let alone apologize for them. They'll rather blame you or others than be responsible for what they did. They'll find a way to avoid facing the consequences of their actions. They either have someone else take the fall for them or cover it up with a show to avoid responsibility. While doing all this, they use the closest people to them as scapegoats. If you are their best friend, partner, or even family member, you'll take the blame for what you know nothing about. You'll receive calls from people throwing shades at you for what you are clueless about. All thanks to this person who has used you to escape responsibility. You'll have to clean up their mess even when you don't want to. They'll put on their manipulative cap and make you feel so responsible that you won't know when you'll start apologizing for what you didn't do. Number five, they don't respect boundaries. It's important to state that there are clueless people who know nothing about boundaries and wouldn't deliberately cross your boundaries when you spell them out to them. But you see, the people we talk about in this video are far from clueless. They know your boundaries and would still try to cross them. They'll let you know that your boundaries do not apply to them. Remember, they only think about themselves, so when you tell them, they won't remember because they have no space for others. They'll repeatedly try to cross your boundaries and even make you feel sad for having boundaries in place. They might gaslight you into making exceptions for them at your detriment. It's your responsibility to set clear boundaries around your life, and you should not break them for anyone for whatever reason. Breaking your boundaries just to accommodate people's excesses will have them step into your personal space and all over you in the process. And newsflash, they won't make it a one-time event. It would be a continuous struggle to regain yourself. So this is not about the other person, but about you. You have the right to tell people how to treat you and you shouldn't lower the standards for whatever reason. You should not sit there and allow someone to insult you call you names, talk down on you, make you feel less of yourself, and still ignore them all in the name of building a relationship. Remember that respect has to start with you. No one will respect you if you don't respect yourself enough to uphold your boundaries. But when you set yourself on the right stage, set appropriate boundaries around every part of your life, communicate your boundaries to people, and let them know the consequences of trying to violate them. You give yourself enough respect. If they see you as selfish, 
and try to talk you out of building this order structure around your life. You should show them the door. Keep your personal space personal so you don't end up hurting yourself because of a lack of boundaries. Some people are working towards perfection and the fact that someone exhibits one negative trait or the other does not outrightly cancel them as evil. However, you'll notice their willingness to work on themselves to improve and their remorse when they do wrong. A lack of remorse for wrongdoing is an excellent sign of an evil person. When you notice this, it's best to distance yourself from these people to avoid putting yourself through an unnecessary emotional rut. There are still good people out there. When you rightly position yourself and trust God, He will send them your way. But never allow the fear of being alone to make you stay stuck with an evil person. You deserve better.